Alright, welcome back everybody. This is GTM. Uh, I'm basically going to be covering a tutorial on how to prep up some reference images for uh, 3D Max. So basically, you know, uh, how to dissect and cut up your image and prepare them properly to throw them on planes. Uh, so you can, you know, basically align your models or your geometry as your model. I'm going to open up a uh, Photoshop here. As you can see, I got a, a, a P51D Mustang, I guess a Mustang 4. Uh, most beautiful plane in American, you know, military history. To be honest, uh, this is the plane that won World War II. Amazing plane. All right. And, um. First thing I'm going to do is uh, actually we're going to prep this up and even it out. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the layer here. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and file and open up a new image. And my 1024 by 800 height is uh, I had that preset already. I'm going to hit OK. Now I got my blank canvas here. All right, so here now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start lining these up. So I'm going to take, uh, I'll probably just start off with my polygon lasso tool. I'm just going to cut out parts of this plane here that I need. There we go. As we close it off, if you want to hit Control C come over here and we can actually just paste it in there control V alright so that pretty much centers it up for us alright so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab that hold down shift so I can keep it centered and then um, let's just raise it up to the top here and I'm gonna call this I believe this will be my left side alright next thing I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna go ahead and grab our polygon lasso and let's uh, cut out you know the top of the plane here and I'm just kind of walking around this and I don't mind if we cut through the tip of that plane right around here uh, we can always patch that up in Photoshop alright so come on around alright I'm going to close that off all right, next thing is control C to copy. Or like I said, you can go to edit copy from there as well. Back to here, and then I'm just gonna control V, should paste it right down the center. All right, now from here, we're gonna have to uh, resize our, uh, you know, resize our plane here, or our background, I should say, or our canvas. So I'm gonna actually go to, cause I was I don't wanna get cut off. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, and we're going to change the height a bit. So we're going to change this to, I believe, uh, let's just go ahead and go pixels for now. And I'm going to change the height, and I'm going to anchor it towards the bottom here. And we'll say about 400. All right, as you can see, our canvas has gotten a lot bigger now. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, click on the left layer raise that up a bit let me click on that hold it on shift to keep it centered all right now with our plane here let's go ahead and um, you know if it helps let's go ahead and bring this down or take your magnifying and we'll just you know whoops let's hit alt here and I'm just kind of scaling that down all right, so I want to take this part, this plane here. I'm going to hit Control T, so I can kind of uh, turn it around. And I want to straighten that out as much as possible, and we'll adjust this as we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'll probably raise that up about right there, and like I said, we'll make sure everything's straightened in a second. All right, and I'll just apply that. All right, now the last step we need is our front of the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and um, come down here and just start uh, walking around that. And like I said, don't worry about cutting into the other image. All right, there we go. Control C. 
come back to here and then we'll just uh, control V paste it right in there all right I'm gonna kind of line this up somewhere right here now the next step for me is to uh, let's clean some of this up so you know like for example right here I mean it's not that big of a deal I mean I'm just you know stuff like this kind of you know I was always the kid in class that when the teacher didn't erase the whole board it, you know after class it kind of like bugged me for some reason I don't know what do you call that uh, uh, oh hell I don't know what it's called it's like when people uh, are too um, uh, that movie of uh, Jack Nicholson you know people that can't step on cracks anyways who cares but yeah, I just gotta get rid of it because it's uh, bugging me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just take my clone stamp and I'm just gonna, you know, clone this little area out. So I'm on my uh, top layer. Let's go ahead and name that top. And I'm gonna take my brush size, take my clone, and just kind of clone that out. Or like I said, I could just take my paint tool, put it on white, and we'll just paint that right off there. And let me uh, increase my opacity here. All right, there we go. We got that all cleaned off. Now, if you want, I can actually take my clone stamp and just, um, you know, clone this part. And just connect it. There we go. And you know what? Let me uh, do that one more time. There we go. All right. I ain't gonna worry about that little area right there. Actually, I know. Maybe I will. I'm not sure why I'm even doing this, but let's go ahead and clone this little area. Okay. All right, now we are going to, right around here by the wing, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that right out of there. And make sure I'm on, this is our front. I'm gonna name that front. And just keep this as left. All right, so I'm gonna paint that out. Oops, make sure we're on the front layer. There we go. Oh, let me paint that off here as well. All right now, of course, I can sit here and try to uh, close that off. And probably the easiest way would be, you know, we can take one side of this right there and just, um, you know, you can edit copy, control C, then control V to paste it, and then we have another version of it and I can just kind of flip that edit free transform horizontal and then I believe we got something pretty close right there that's good enough all right um, from there I'm just gonna go ahead and combine that layer so I'm gonna control E and that's to the front top and then of course our you know left or is that right I don't always be confused all right, so um, now we got our reference. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna close out this one right here. All right, so let's make sure everything lines up properly now. So um, best thing we can do is just to make sure things are even. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this top one for now, and I'm gonna Control T. Oh, let's make sure we're on the. Well, yeah, left, control T. And I'm just going to kind of rotate that. And to make sure it actually matches. So if it helps, go ahead and um, take your top one. I'm going to apply that. Take your top one and let's uh, put it on multiply. And let's just kind of match. I'm going to take the left. And I'm using my arrow keys just to nudge nose to nose. And it looks like tail to tail. 
works pretty well. So that, wow, that matched up pretty easy. So I'm gonna control Z back. And we'll take this one right here, just to see if the wings match up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that on multiply. And wow, that's pretty close. It's pretty accurate already. All right, so these are perfect, uh, you know, uh, reference sheets here. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and just combine everything. So I'm going to go Control E, and I'm combining everything on one layer. And if it helps, let's go ahead and uh, get our rulers, which I already have open. So I'm going to go View. I'm going to turn them off just so you can see where to get them. Go View Rulers, or the Control R. You get these little ruler tabs here. I'm going to go ahead and drag. Um, some guidelines. You know, it looks like I'm cutting off that nose. So I'm going to control Z before I collapsed it. And just move this one slightly down a little bit. Alright. And let's make sure this is even. So I'm going to hold down shift. Make sure that is evened out. That's slightly off a bit. Uh, so let's keep it where it was. Alright, let's go ahead and even that out. Alright, that looks about even. And then I'm going to just pull down shift and bring this down a bit. Alright, now from here I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, I'll go ahead and line these up now. I don't need to collapse everything. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up here to that nose to that nose or to that tail go to the blade to the wheel and I'm gonna bring this right over here wing to wing and then wing the wing right there alright and then I'll probably bring this one right to the blade on top all right, now from here, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and um, we're going to cut these up and save them out as individual pieces. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and combine these now, which I'm taking, you know, I'm just hitting control, I'm grabbing all these. You can right click it, merge layers, or you can just, you know, grab the first one, hit control, ease your hot key, and it just merges the next layer down. All right, so I'm going to add a new layer here, and the next important thing is we've got to grayscale this, so I'm going to... Basically, I went to my swatch here, double-clicked it, got a, a gray color, took my paint bucket, and make sure you're on that layer, and I'm just going to paint right over it, and then change this to multiply. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and save this as a JPEG, and we'll call this our P51 reference. All right, like I said, our next step is we're going to cut these up and save them in individual images. All right, let's go ahead and um, cut this image up now. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to check if my snaps are on. Right here, if I hit snaps, I turn those on. This way, if I grab my marquee tool, it will actually snap to the grid that I laid down. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just highlight that right about here here I believe yeah right there and then I am going to you know what just so I make things easier on myself I'm gonna create two more lines I'm gonna go ahead and place one right in front of the nose and one right on the end of the tail right there that's what I'm gonna cut out so I'm gonna grab that right there and then I'm gonna go image crop and we're just gonna go ahead and um, file save this as a JPEG and we can either save it as the P51 front I'll just name it that I'm just replacing over some old ones I recently cut so saving it right over there alright now I'm gonna control Z or control alt Z to get back now we're gonna go ahead and cut this out Alright, 
So I'm going to go image crop and we'll call this uh, file save as and this will be our top. So I'm going to call this our P51 top. All right, and then we'll control Z and we're going to cut out now the front. Right there from wingtip to wingtip to wheel to the top of the blade. Image, crop, and then I'm going to go file, save as, JPEG, and we will call this our, our front, which I don't have saved here. So I'm going to call this P51, I'm sorry. Ooh, P51, yeah, let's just go ahead and call it front. Uh, yeah, this is going to be our front, actually named. Let me go on. Let's call this one. I got to recut this one. I named it over a recent one. So I'm going to go image crop, and we're going to file save as a JPEG. And we're going to call this our P51 side here. All right, there we go. All right, now what we're going to do is end up taking these images. So let me go ahead and um, control Z and save this as a PSD file just so we can always have. And I'll call this my P51 reference. And we'll save it as a PSD file. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out and just double check our images here. So I'm going to open these up in two and three. All right, so here goes our, um, you know, there's our side and our front. And we got some pretty, I guess they're pretty decent size resolutions. They're not the best, but they're, they'll work. All right, now from here on, from here now, I'm going to show you how to place these in 3D Max to prep them up for modeling. All right, I'll catch you next video. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching.